All right, sounds on, guys. Or guy, silver scale, I got the sound on. There's a TV on in the background. Hopefully it's not too annoying. So, I ran this efficiency committee out here. I don't expect to score it. It's going to be like a tough one to score anyway, so. What? All right, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to go upstairs to get away from the noise. <sighs> So my opponent is data sucker in the ice wall. Uh, he won't be able to break paper wall. Um. So, so he's getting it now. Um, that's fine. I sort of, uh, I'm seeding that one. I mean, it's going to be, I mean, I want to pass advance my 3-2s, which most of my cards are 3-2s. Um, I have efficiency committee scored, so all my shipment from Sand Sands are now turned on as biotic labors. Uh, but since he's, you know, killing ice and stuff... I mean, right now, like, if he has a clone ship, he'll be able to kill this Rota turret, which is unfortunate. But, uh, do what I gotta do. Alright, so here's a, bi here's a beta test. I'm gonna score it, and I think I'm gonna run it. I am winning, but... Scoring this beta test is sort of a big deal, I think. Uh, the deck has 24 ice in it, so I think it's the kind of deck where I want to run the beta test, even though I still have 7 agendas left in my 33 card deck. He's likely to get an agenda off it, but I think it's still worth it. Um, so here's Ice Wall. I'll put that on R&D. And, uh, no agendas. No agendas split, so that's good. We're in good shape here. If he wants to start getting into R&D, he's going to have to click through it. And um, I, I, I'm going to assume that I'm fast advancing basically everything. Uh, here he's parasiting my Eli to get into R&D. Uh, I assume he's going to run R&D now. Hopefully it's a shipment from Samson and he doesn't score. Nope. He's decided against it, which is good. Um, He's going to need a clone ship now to, uh, to, you know, get in. I could try to score this mandatory upgrade. I would need to, it'd take three turns to score. Uh, two if I use this biotic labor, which I guess will be worth it. So now I get to roto turret, I don't know, something. Um, should I, I think I should probably run a turret the torch. Uh, it's, I mean, you could probably get it back somehow, but, you know, do what you gotta do. I mean, I can also install this next bronze, which will hopefully keep him out of R&D for a little bit. Um, he'll, I assume he's gonna somehow get his, uh, torch back, or some sort of code gate breaker shouldn't be too difficult, but then he's also gonna need to kill the Rota turret. The Maker's Eye has been discarded, so he's probably got another one of those. Um, click, click, click. I think I'm discarding Grim here. It's pretty expensive. This, I mean, this deck has serious trouble with Econ. 
I really need shipment from San Fran. I should maybe be uh, drawing more aggressively, but I, I feel like I just need money. It's possible that killing Data Stalker would be better there, but I feel like my most important ice right now is Roto Turret, so it's like the Parasite's just gonna get it. What is this? Oh, he's scavenging onto the roto turret to, to get the um, to get it dead. So that'll work. And then if he wants to play like a Koke Breaker and run, he'll get in at least the one time. I can play another Ice Wall now, which I'm gonna do before I play the next runs, because the Koke. I mean, like if he parasites the Ice Wall. Uh, if I play the next runs, it'll keep him from breaking the ice wall, but then if he if he parasites the next wall, which doesn't take too long, um, it'll be difficult. Uh, Alright, there's a shipper from Sam Sam, perfect. So now I'm turned on to fast advance my next agenda. Um, so ice wall's there, and then I'm going to click the two. I really like um, all this cheap ice going in this deck. He's now he's now on a drawing plan. He probably doesn't have very many uh, non uh, non code gate breakers. Considering he's splashed for Parasite and Data Sucker. He might not have any. He might he probably actually has a single fem. And I'm maybe a corroder, but he might just play like one snowball or something with the same influence. Um alright, interesting, interesting. So here I'm gonna click for three credits. And discard this paper wall. So he is in a position to get into R and D now. It's possible uh, drawing that turn would have been reasonable. I'm not. I'm not really like 100% what the right play is. I could have also used an efficiency counter because now I'm not going to need nearly as many. There's a grim. So Grim is interesting. Uh, it doesn't really keep him out. So I think I'm gonna actually draw a card first. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a next bronze on R&D, and then click for a credit. And I'll lose this uh, this Grim once again. Too expensive to res. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need to trash anything again. And it being on the outside means that I'm going to have to, like, pay a lot of money. <laughs> Hopefully he just, like, runs into it. Um, then I get successful demo, and I should be good for money for the rest of the game. Uh, I've got both of the fast advance card I need to get to, uh, to get to 8 or 7. I've got all two pointers in this list. I've got three beta tests, three Vitruvius, three committee, and one, uh, this stupid mandatory upgrades. Which probably will never get scored, but I really, I'm a big fan of not playing that many agendas. Alright, so that's a lot of um, R&D interface. So I'm going to need to, I think, draw pretty aggressively here. So I'm going to draw one. There's another efficiency committee. Interesting. I can score that with Biotic Labor um, in addition to the shipment from Sansan. I can also, I can put another Enigma somewhere, like on HQ. Um, is that terribly important to me right now? I don't think so. I think I'm more, I think I'm more concerned about money. This is like, um, pretty unlucky, having drawn only one of the 3-2s, and there's six of them, and then having drawn every single one of the non-3-2 agendas in my deck. So he's just checking archives to make sure I'm not discarding them. It's, I mean, this is this is interesting. Like he needs, to, I don't know what he needs all this money for. Um, so here I could score this other efficiency committee. It doesn't seem terrible. It does let me draw a lot of cards. I do have two more shipment from Sandside in the deck. It gets it out of my hand. It gets me to game point. How much money would it cost me? It will cost me. My Biotic Labor, Install, Advance, Advance, that's six. So I'd still have five, which is enough to res both of these. So I think I'm going to do it. 
It'll give me, like, a huge amount of clicks. I could feasibly just, like, as soon as I draw another shipment from Sansa, I'll be so golden that I want to try it. It's possible I should even use all three of these to just draw cards. I'm just going to use, yeah, that doesn't seem unreasonable. So now I've got four clicks left so I can draw. And there's the other shipment. Perfect. Um, I will draw again. Paper wall. Um, and then I'll ship it from Santa and this. And, uh, I'll... Oh, I don't need to discard. Okay. So, now I'm one agenda off the win. If I can keep him out of r and for, uh, just, like, one turn would be fine. I don't know what this is. Oh, he's feminine. Interesting. So he's got Femme, and then what? He's gonna quick for credit. Oh, he's out of memory. He's out of memory now. Um, he also can't afford to install a torch, right? So he could um, he could parasite this. It would be, it'd be a reasonable play, but he's not. He's just getting out. Yeah, and he's out of memory, so that's good news for me. Um, here, I'm going to successful demo. Um, draw a card. Now I could hedge fund, or I could draw another card, or I could install Enigma on HQ. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some extra clicks now to draw another card. Really want to get to that. Okay, now I'm going to take more extra clicks so I can play hedge fund. And then install this... Um, I guess Enigma? I, I win next turn if I keep him out. So maybe it's better to just install Paper Wall. Because it'll keep him out just the one time. And then pass the turn. Because it turns off his, like, um, oh, well, he could actually ro he could actually get past this Rota turret. I forgot. But he will need to, like, install, get in, not, there needs to be no other agenda on the top of my deck. He's installed Atman on one. He's got uh, too many memory. He needs to trash a program. I assume he's going to trash Opus. Nope, Data Sucker. Okay, so he's Maker's Eye. Okay, so he's got. Um, he's going to hit this. That's fine. Um, yep. He played, paid one to break with Atman. I guess I'll res this Ice Wall. I don't see, like, a huge reason not to. I have enough money to, like, to do basically everything, I think. Oh my god, really? Okay, good. So he doesn't he doesn't get there on um, on the R and D run. Man, I really wish I had installed Enigma now. All right, so he's gonna get in. I'll res that because it's free. So now I'm down to a. Um, I'm down to the 60% uh, chance of the win here. So let's get lucky. No whammies, guys. 
All right, we did it. Good game. This matchup seems pretty difficult. I mean, I do have a lot of cheap ice, which is good. Uh, but... All right, awesome. This deck is fun. I mean, I don't know that it's like particularly competitive.